Being someone who specializes in coverage of devices like the Surface Duo, Surface Duo 2, the Z Fold, devices like this, there's a particular question that I get relatively often, and it is this. How can I run two instances of the same app at the same time? There are several different reasons why one might want to do this. I'm not going to get into particularly. Maybe you want to play Pokemon Go twice, whatever. It's your business why you want to do this. But you've got a dual screen device. Or you've got a device that can split screen very, very well. And you want to run the same app multiple times. How can you do that? Well, if you go to the Google Play Store, you're going to find many apps. And I've actually recommended and used one called Parallel Space in the past. But there are lots of other apps that also do the same thing. But here's my problem with those apps. They run the app kind of inside of like a shell almost, and they, they do weird things like they show you ads and stuff while you're using the app. Like it's just there's a lot of downsides to those particular programs. So I was doing some digging on this. I'm gonna put this back out of my way. I was doing some digging on this subject, and I came across a website, an app that I think absolutely 100% solves this problem. And if you want to do this, this is the way to do it, okay? It's on a website called appcloner.app. It's not in the Play Store. And I can understand that might freak you out. You might say, Shane, why are you recommending an app to me that's not even able to be in the Play Store? Well, it was in the Play Store. This is an article way back in 2018, okay, from Android Police detailing how this app was in the Play Store and for whatever reason, October 19th of, I'm assuming, 2018, Google contacted this app, the developer, and told them basically they were breaking some, some rules and they unpublished it. They did not like what they were doing because what this app does, it doesn't just take the APK and then run it in a shell. It literally takes the APK and then modifies it a bit so that your Android device sees it as another app. A totally different app. Most of these other programs, you actually have to go into them and then launch the app from within the duplicator app. Not with App Cloner. It actually creates a second instance of that application for whatever reason. They did not like this being in the store. They tried to do something about it. They tried to do whatever they could to stay in the App Store and they were not able to, to make Google happy. So they're out of the Play Store. So you have to go to their website to download it. So if you go to your on your phone, you go to this website, appcloner.app, the link is in the description, download the APK. When you go to install it, if you've never done this before, you may have to allow the application, your web browser, to install from unknown sources. It's, it, it's extremely straightforward. If you can't follow those instructions, drop a comment. I'll try to explain it to you best I can. But basically, click on settings, toggle the box, hit back, and it should install. From there... It's really, really straightforward. I'm gonna kind of show you how it works now. So they're gonna ask you if you wanna buy the premium version of App Cloner, which you don't really need to do. Basically, this is it. You get a list of your applications. Now, I do wanna point out that for some reason in my testing, Pokemon Go does not wanna clone. I know that's a bit disappointing. There are other ways. You could probably just install the Samsung store version of Pokemon Go if you really wanna do this. But for some reason, Pokemon Go, when you go to clone it, it does not want to clone. But let's say, let's pick another app that, because literally every other app I've tried does in fact clone just fine. Let's just do, let's just do Amazon because it's at the very tippity top of the screen. If you select it, you get all kinds of different options. You can do change the icons, color, rotate, flip, add a badge, replace the icon. There's all sorts of options you can mess with if you want to. If you don't, you can also, by the way, change how many clones you want to make. If you want to have more than just one more clone, whenever you're good with that, you just click your clone button and it is going to clone Amazon Shopping. It's going to give you some you know, information about what the permissions this version of the app is going to want to ask for. And it shouldn't take too much longer and we should be done. Okay, so it has now been cloned. You can now click on install app. You may have to give permission to this app to be able to install apps. Let it install and it should be done. It basically installs like any other APK you've ever installed before. Whenever it's done, what you wind up with here is two Amazons. You'll see the normal Amazon, then you'll see another one with the little app cloner icon in it. So let's launch the new one. Let's launch the old one. And you are running double Amazons. And I don't know particularly why you would want to double up on Amazon, but if you wanted to, you can. And the cool thing about this is if you want to uninstall one of these duplicates, 
You just install it like any other app. There's nothing else weird going on. It literally just makes another version, a modified version of that, of that APK so that you can run it again. Now, the way I use this, I use an application called Radar Omega. It is a weather application. It lets me look at not just the reflectivity of a storm, but also uh, the velocity, the correlation coefficient. I'm a weather nerd, so I love this kind of stuff. I like uh, Radar Omega. So what I've done is I've cloned it, and now I've got it set up in an app pair that launches both of them so that on one screen, I can have the reflectivity and here is a storm ongoing right now, a tornado warning, actually. I believe that's in Mississippi. So I've got the reflectivity here. I've got the velocity here. Let's say if I want to compare things further, let's see if there's a CC drop. I doubt that there is. No, it doesn't look like there's any kind of CC drop there. Um, but I can run this app twice at the same time, and it runs absolutely brilliantly so that I can be getting really good information from two different radar products at the same time. Now, there may be apps that you know of that make sense in this way. I know I mentioned Pokemon Go earlier, and of course, in testing this application, I literally said Pokemon Go, and then while I'm testing the app, I was like, I'll do Pokemon Go, and of course, it gave me an error, and it would not want to clone. So that's like the only app, I've tested several more, it's the only one that doesn't want to clone. So if you want to do two Pokemon Go's, probably just download the Samsung Store version of it. I hear that that's a thing you can do. That's what I did on my Z Fold, and I think you can just extract that, probably find it online relatively easily. So for any other application, this is how I'm going to do this going forward. It works really, really well. I love a double radar Omega app pair. You probably could think of one yourself that makes sense. What about a messaging app? You have two accounts, right? It makes perfect sense. It's something that, that I think uh, more and more phone makers need to just include natively in their phone as more, actually several companies are beginning to do that. But since Duo can't, now it can't. Other phones that can't, now it can't. AppCloner.app, give it a look. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the way out. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.